Hey everybody, uh, Karsten Ramke here. There have been some requests for a video tutorial on how to make a seat reservation without buying a ticket. I am going to do a quick tutorial on how to do exactly that on the Deutsche Bahn DB website. So uh, without further ado, let me share my screen. Let's see, we will be sharing screen three. All right. All right. You should now here. Let me I drag myself over here. Look at that. All right. Uh, real quick. Uh, I am obviously I've been to the Deutsche Bahn website recently, as you can imagine. Um, but I will put in the URL bahn.de. We'll start there. That's their website. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is change the language from Deutsch to English. I think that will make things easier for all of you. Ooh, I've got a got a work meeting coming up here at nine. All right, I'll make it snappy. All right, super easy to do. Uh, ignore this top section, but oh, look at this little click. Uh, look, look at this little link right here. Seat only, no ticket. This is what you're looking for. Seat only, no ticket. Boom, here we go. Um, all right, so uh, you put in your from and to stations just like you would if you were buying a regular ticket, times and everything. So, so let's do this. Uh, let's let's do this as if I were uh, coming from. Uh, here we'll do Frankfurt Airport. Frankfurt Airport to uh, Eisenach. We'll pretend that we're going from our uh, from our arrival flight directly to Eisenach. Hopefully, some of you will be joining me in Frankfurt for some rail fanning before that. But uh, but yeah, uh, we'll just do it this way. Click on the little calendar. Uh, let's see, I will be landing Friday, September first at uh, well my my flight. I think my flight lands at about seven. So. Uh, let's assume to be on the safe side, let's go with nine o'clock. That gives me uh, time to get off the plane, uh, get through the line at immigration, which can sometimes be a little bit long, uh, go get my suitcase uh, and make it uh, to the train station. And we can we can talk about that a little bit as well. Since we're doing uh, seat reservation only, the return uh, journey is blotted out. You obviously can add a return journey. Uh, I am a traveler between the age of 27 and 64, but I am going first class. So, uh, and then I will hit the search button. Okay, here's some options for me. Look at that, 901. I don't have to change trains and I'm in Eisenach in two hours. I'm not sure how good the rail fanning is in Eisenach, but uh, but uh, yeah, let's see. It's uh, ICE 1567. I can actually click on that uh, and see what the route is. Okay, so I'll I'll be joining it here on uh, Fernbahnhof Platform Four. That's the long distance station, not the regional station. Uh, and it looks like we make uh, a couple of stops: Frankfurt uh, Hauptbahnhof, Fulda, Bad Hersfeld, before we get to Eisenach. Uh, yeah, so uh, that gives us a little bit of an idea of the. Um, uh, of the train's itinerary, if we want, uh, we can actually. S oh, oh, they don't. They don't have any coach sequence information. That's a bit of a bummer. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we'll close that out. Oh, did didn't mean to close it out that way. Oh, we learned something new. Okay, seat only, no ticket. There we are. Frankfurt to Eisenach. Nice that it kind of remembers what you put in last. Uh, back to sorry september 1st 9 a.m departure first class search all right here's our train again um yep that's our train that doesn't uh doesn't really appear to be uh any um uh let's see comfort check-in possible that's very cool that means you can uh, check in via your uh uh, mobile phone uh, that uh, hopefully Dan Drisha will will give us a walkthrough maybe on how to do that. 
Uh, and it has a board restaurant, which means, yes, you will be able to grab a beer uh, and some Nuremberger sausages if they're still on the menu. I don't think they are. Uh, but at least some breakfast on your way from uh, from Frankfurt to uh, Eisenach. All right, let's keep going. You'll note that this now only says reservation. Usually there's a price here. I'm going to click the little arrow. This is my train. This is the one I want. Um, just thinking for just a minute. Uh, if you can log in, if you do not have a customer account, obviously put your, put your information in here. Um, let's, let's, let's pretend that I don't have an account, even though my guess is it's going to say, Hey, we already have somebody by that name. If you'd like to create a customer account now, you go, okay, so I'm going to continue as a guest. Where do you want to sit? So now here's the fun part. Um, let's say I want to sit in a compartment. Well, I don't know, a compartment that can, if you end up in a compartment with like four other people, it can get a little crowded. So let's do open saloon, uh, without the table. I don't need the table in front of me. Uh, five euros, 90. Oh, that's expensive. Um, I don't care to be in the phone zone or the quiet zone. So, so there is a quiet car for those of you who saw the bullet train movie, uh, which was actually quite, uh, Quite amusing. Okay, so before we click proceed, we're literally going to select our seat. So I'm going to click on select seat. Let's see, where are we? Okay, you'll, okay, this is, see the two? This is second class, but oh, look, here's the, uh, here's the board restaurant. These are probably the tables for dining. Uh, so we're, we're going to jump into the very first first class coach so that we're close to the dining car. Um, Let's see. And yes, I am going to well, let's let's see if uh let's see if there's a seat. Oh, come on. Oh. oh sorry. I thought that was weird. What? There's only one first class coach? Oh god. Let's go with coach 31, 32. These are all second class, huh? 33, 37. 38. Interesting. Well, it could also be, honestly, it could be that the train's full. So these are the only seats left. All right. Well, I want to sit, uh, I'd like to sit kind of by myself. I don't need the table. So I'm going to select seat 72. Yes. Coach 38, seat 72, except uh, now I would go to proceed. Uh, and then obviously my my pay, payment put put in all your details. You can use PayPal. Uh, obviously, you can also use a credit card, etc. So um, you know uh, that's that's really it. And then what will happen is it will uh, it will print out. You will you I think it'll print it. Out. You can print it out. You'll get it in an email, and I believe you can also push it to your phone. Uh, so you can. Uh, you can get a seat reservation on the desktop uh, and then still use the comfort check-in functionality when you get to your seat on the train. So um, anyway, that's that's really it. That's that's the process, plain and simple. I would encourage everyone to make a DB account. It's, uh, it's free, saves your payment information. And the nice thing is um, when you're not at the comfort of your desktop, if you're like me and you kind of fumble through your phone, um, if you, if you make yourself an account, uh, when you, uh, when you use the DB navigator app, you can log in there and then you don't have to re-enter any of your information. If for some reason, uh, you decide while you're on the, on, on the rails, I guess not on the road while you're on the rails to, uh, to make your return reservation or to change something or look at timetables and things like that. So uh, definitely recommend you make an account, recommend that you download the app. It is a cool app. It has a lot of neat functionality for, uh, uh, especially for rail fans, there's some cool stuff on there uh, that we can talk about. But uh, ultimately it's a, it's very easy to make reservations. And, uh, and yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's really it. Um, uh, I hope, I hope that was informative and uh, yeah. Um, I guess I can stop sharing at this point. Hope it was informative. Hope it was helpful. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in a couple of months in uh, Eisenach. Sure, safe travels.